Are you all set, Aaliyah? Can you, okay, there you go. Can you, yeah, I was asking to be unmuted because I was about to message you. Um, hold on, let me set up my iPad. Like, let's see, like this. So you'll be able to see me. Um, so we needed yellow, blue, and white, and what else? And red? Yellow, red, and blue, three primaries, and white. Okay, and then, um, is it better to work? I've got, uh, an artboard that's watercolor 16 by 20 or on 11 by 14. Is the 11 by 14 canvas or artboard? Canvas. Canvas. Yep, that'll be better. Okay. And we're working horizontally, right? Yes. Okay. Oh no. There's like a clog up in my weight. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. The only thing I'm hoping, because this is my only like nice acrylic white that I have right now. I do have like an antique white, but that's a little more liquidy. It shouldn't make too much of a difference. And this is, not, this is titanium white. I got all excited earlier because I looked at the colors that you wanted us to have. And I was like, yes, I have white. Because <laughs> white would be something when I was younger that I'd always run out of. All right, let me switch over to the other white. Um, and then we're doing some drawing, I can see. Yeah, you get your drawing going. Have you got your drawing, Vicki? Um, hold on. I'm trying to unmute you. There you, there go. you go. I just can't see. I got new glasses because I'm having trouble seeing close. <laughs> uh, there okay, I see. Yep. Uh, Got it. Yeah, and really it, the important part of just like kind of seeing this is that it's not real hilly, meaning um, when you're not looking at a reference photo and you haven't done a lot of different hills, um, people tend to do this, you know, yeah. or, they, or they do the, the, the peaks and valleys. And you notice how they're just, you know, they're just varied shapes, just almost straight across with a little bit of up and down, not much. <laughs> Y'all good, Aaliyah? Yeah, I'm trying to see the picture. I'm doing it at the same time. That's all right. Doesn't need to be perfect. Okay. The points that I pointed out is you start with the, um, the horizon line, which determines how much sky and how much water. Should we be using, should we be using a, a ruler? I generally don't. Okay, and it's more than halfway down, right? A little more than halfway down, yep. Right, okay. And then you can do it complex like this one, which isn't too complex, but it's definitely more than the, um, the sample, which just has one straight across hill line. This one's gonna have a variation in uh, values, so the Two islands that are close are going to be silhouetted and really dark. And the hills, as they go back, will have lighter sky colors in them. Vicki, you got your drawing? Yes. All right. Did Wait, you want can you keep it close? Sure. Did you want to start your... Um, your painting, you can start in the sky. Okay. So if you can see the sample, I have mostly peaches. So um, how I start this is I'm gonna pick up 
uh, yellow, white, and a little tiny bit of red and just start um, painting them in the sky. Okay. Is this, let's see, you can see this. I think it's like a little crooked, a bit crooked. No, I did it. It looks fine. It looks yep. fine? It looks fine. So it's okay if it's like one's a little higher and one's a little lower? Sure, absolutely. Okay, and let's see. So got that hell line. I your dog getting in there. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start with a wide brush. And I'm going to start with some white, little yellow, and a little tiny bit of red. I'm going to show you, I've got quite a bit. Can you hold that? Sorry, I, I know you're about to begin. Um, can you hold the picture a little, a little closer? I just need a couple more lines at the top. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna get started. So um, I just wanted to show you how much white I've got on the brush. That's quite a bit of white. So it's, it's uh, that's what's gonna keep the brush, um, the paint wet enough. So that's probably the most important part is really look the brush up. Want to make sure it's spotlight. All right, so I'm going to grab some some yellow, so you can see a little bit of yellow, okay, like that. And then there's just a, a hint of red, but not much because red's going to overpower that. And then when you start blending that in there, you'll see the color that you want. If it's too if it's too white, just add some yellow to it. If it's too red then you can actually wipe off some of that red because that red's going to overpower it quite a bit. To get to the peach, I just grabbed just a tiny bit of red and more white and that'll lighten this because you, you want that pink into the yellow to get to the peach. I like to leave streaks, but it's totally your call if you want to go darker on top or leave streaks so it looks like, you know, that streaky colorful, um, like the tropical sky that we did. Feel free to mix some colors. I just grabbed some, some white and yellow or white and uh, red just to kind of get a little bit of pink over here because my intention is to go a little bit darker on this side and then lighter on that side. So this will be like peaches and purples and then go into the whites and um, yellows. I haven't switched brushes. I'm still using the same brush.
Let me know if you have any questions about getting those colors blended on there. Quick question. Um, I kind of went over one of the hill lines because my canvas is smaller. Let's see. You see it? Yep. If you take a paper towel, um, a small piece of paper towel, dip it in some water because um, mm -hmm. I, I did the same thing. So if you want to watch for a second, I just dip this paper towel yeah. in, in water and I'll spotlight mine so you can kind of see this. Okay. So you just slowly just, just use that, like the edge of it, so it's nice and solid. Even if I'm using acrylic? What? Even if, even if I'm using acrylic? I'm using acrylic too. Okay. Yeah, so smoother. Well, so, okay, it depends what kind of surface you're using. It, so you just, you just move it back and forth. If it doesn't move, Grab a little bit more water if you want to wash for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> if it doesn't, if it doesn't move, like this isn't moving, so I need to go back and dip it. So the water part is the important part. You don't want it drippy, but you want it wet enough. So right now what I'm doing is I'm softening that little bit, and then I'm scrubbing. Then I can lift once I've softened it. Because then I've got that line back, and that's the important part, is I'm using the edge of the paper towel and the water to soften. So I'm actually just drawing the line. That's the difference between just going in and just scrubbing it out. You're, you're not going to get the line back. You're so going to go line, and then you're adding more water and yeah. using the part that, of the paper towel. And is it okay if mine, mine turned out to be more like orange, peachy, and yellow? Yeah, it's, you can do it any way you want. Okay, cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let me know, give me a thumbs up when you're ready to go down into the water. Vicki, just having some fun painting the sky. I realized from the last one that I do not have good paint and that makes a difference. So when this is over, I'm gonna try and get some better paint. Uh, when you say you don't have good paint, what, what do you mean? It just, it doesn't flow. It's like, it's not smooth. What, uh, what name brand? Well, I have some of the, some of the artist loft and those work better. And then I have some of the little craft paints. So I don't have much for acrylic because I have more watercolor. Yeah, so the craft paint, um, it dries faster than the regular paint. So it probably, you're getting it, it almost like coagulates a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. it, it, so it has an uneven dry time. Yeah, so, yeah. so would that have, so um, when I was home at first, I didn't, I didn't have any white, so I had to use craft paint um, yeah. for the dance studio. And it worked okay. Um, I just had to work extra fast. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the challenge is on. <laughs> this is my test. <laughs> okay. 
Do you like how it's turning out? Yeah. Good. So okay. I'm, I'm ready to go down into the, the water now because you I, I generally will almost always go right from the sky to the water or water to the sky. Are you ready to? I am. All right. Let's do this. Um, if you used all three of the primaries, you can start with a fresh brush or just take the, the, uh, a paper towel and just pull off the paint. Um, but you don't want to, you don't want to go in water because then you're going to dilute the acrylic paint. So either fresh brush or pull it off. And then what I do is I notice where the colors are like, like, so the yellow is up in here and I want to intentionally put that right here. And these are going to be silhouetted islands. So I, I'm going to put um, this yellow up here, right next to, right underneath the, um, this part right here. So that when I go in and put the dark ripples, um, it'll be contrasting like a dark purple and the yellow. So kind of notice where your colors are going to go in and where that can play into your painting a little bit. Okay. So you put those colors in the water? Yep, I'm gonna start mine, uh, like I started yellow up in here. I'm gonna start the yellow right here. Um, and I have a little bit of a nook right in between these two islands. I wanna make sure I get that and I'll, I'll paint it right into the island just a little bit. Cause that's gonna be darker anyway. And after that, just have fun, you know, kind of uh, putting the, the reflection. So it'll be like this, the opposite. You're not using purple, are you? It just looks more purple. Um, actually, it, it came because the blue and the red came together on my brush. There is some lavender up in here. Ah, the blue and red. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me try a little bit of that. Um, with the white? Well, it actually had like all three of the colors in there. So I kind of pulled, the, pulled off um, the muddied up colors. So I, ha I still had some of the peach on there and a little yellow. 
So it has like um, almost an iridescent look to it. Okay. Um, and what's going on, on your right side? Because it's blocked by the camera, by like where my little thing of me is. On this side? The other side. The other side. Yeah, I can't really see it. It's just a yellowish with okay. some work into it. Okay. Thank um, you. Yeah, but don't don't try so much to to get it to look like mine. Okay. But it, right now, if you're doing the water, you want it to be the reflection of your sky. Yeah. So we are using blue. Uh, all three colors. Yeah. So all okay. three colors went in the sky, and all three colors went in the water. I forgot to use blue in the sky. <laughs> So you might just use those three colors, the yellow, the red, and the white in your, in your whole painting, and that's fine. Okay. Thank you. So I am ready to start the hills whenever you are, but no rush. Just give me a thumbs up when you're ready to start your kind of mixing your colors would be the next step. So if you didn't, if you made a mistake, you just get a little bit of water. Yep. And if it doesn't move right away, you get a little bit more water. You need to soften the paint just like you would in acrylics. Well, that was quick, okay. It's much more forgiving than watercolor. Yeah, that was quick. <laughs> <laughs> 
The only time you get into trouble with that is if you're trying to lift something that already has some layers underneath. Oh. Yeah, like say we get to here and, and it's great and then you make a mistake like between the hill line and the sky, um, you'd actually end up lifting part of your sky. So in this piece, we just suggest that you just bring your hill line up if there's any mistakes. When you have craft paints, you know how the, they, oh, oh, I'm on I'm mute. Um, do you know the old paints where you'd have to wet them? Can I mix water in with the acrylic paints before I, because they're so thick. What do you, let me, can I see your paint? Can you hold that up so I can see what you're talking about? Yeah, you can add water to that. That one. Yeah. Yeah, I would take a smaller brush, just put a little water, work it in quite a bit, and, and then see if it's better. Okay. If you've got a spray bottle, it's nice to just give it a little spritz. Did that help, Vicki? Yeah, that helps. I'm gonna move on to the dark color. So I, I create the dark color with all three of the primaries. Um, I start with just the blue and the red and get a super dark color. Um, you're still going to want to have your sky colors um, ready to go because we're going to put some of the, the, the sky colors into the hill while it's still wet. So if like mine has dried up over here because it's, it's, it's flat to the um, palette. So before I start this, I'm gonna make sure I've got some peaches, some yellows and pinks to put into the distant sky um, hill line.
So now I've got um, I've got my uh, sky colors over here. I've got my um, darkest color in the middle, and it's all ready to go for the for the hill line. So I'm just going to start the hill line. And is anyone doing the same thing I'm doing with a lot of hills going back in the distance? Or are you just doing one hill line across? I did what you, I did what you did. Okay, so you did this too, um, Aaliyah, with lots of hills, like three lines, and then the two like slopes. Okay, and so, then um, what other colors besides like the peach? We've got the dark color. What else should we have ready? Well, you have you have orange in your sky. It's like oranges and peaches. So those yeah. are the only two colors that you'll need to put on your hills. Okay. Cool. Yeah, whatever reflects in your in your sky. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just just make sure you've got all your sky colors and your dark color. Yeah, I guess it would mix it a little bit more. Right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm actually starting with the distant hills and then work my way forward. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the darker pinks and lavenders and I'm going to start with the, the furthest away hill. And I only do sections that are about maybe five or six ish inches. And then I'll go back through and add some lighter colors on top while it's still wet. Are we adding the darkest color as well or not yet? Nope, that's not till the, the foreground, these uh, right. islands in the middle. So just your sky colors, just the, the whatever, Mine's, mine just happens to have some lavender and some pink. Okay. What well, you mixed all those colors in there? In here? The sky? Yep, these are all the skies from sky colors up and the watercolor actually.
What do we do once we finish the first over over skyline? So you want they want to get you want to get a little bit um, darker as you come forward. So I've got more of the lighter sky colors, and I've got a little bit darker and a little bit darker as you come forward. I went. Well, let me show you mine. Hold on, because I went like perp the what you said the purple and the pink. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Right. Oh yeah, nicely done. Thank you. Um, I like it too. It brings me happiness. <laughs> um, so I've got this second line here. You see. Wait, I can't even see what I'm pointing at. I've got this second line and thinner. It gets thinner here, and then this overlook. And then I've got this blank space and the slopes. So what do I do? What kind of colors are we talking about here? So the original color that that hill line is, is that you painted in. Mm -hmm. Add a little bit of your dark color to it for the next hill. Okay. And then the next hill forward, you're going to use that color and add a little bit of dark color to that. Aren't the slopes going to blend all in then? Or are the slopes purely blue? You're, you're getting darker and darker as you come in. So you're, you're just changing. But are, the, are the slopes, the right and the left, are those purely blue or are they blended color as well? Um, that's up to you. Okay, I'm just, I was just wondering because I don't want it to get too dark and then have it wash out. Yeah, you can always go back in and put some more. Uh, so I'm texture. I'm adding texture to these. So um, I had it a color, and then I, I took the sky color and just blotted it and tapped that in there. Okay. Okay. I'll see. I'll play around with it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Are we adding any more oranges and reds right now, or not yet? That is um, depending on what your painting calls for. Okay.
Has anyone made it to the darkest uh, islands forward yet? Not yet. So I'm going to show you just a little bit of a trick when you do get to these foreground islands. So I've got um, the, my brush is fairly thin and it's a synthetic brush. So it's, it's got a little stiffness, stiffness to it, but I can also get a straight line. So when I um, fill my brush and I make it so it's flat, I can, um, and I've already filled in my, my islands, I can just tap it in lines just above where I filled it in so that I can make it look like they're evergreen trees. I took it away from her. She did it again.
should we be adding any white to the, um, how are you doing the brush pattern with the blue? And what, what, is it just the pure blue or what else is in it? What part are you talking about? The hills. The, the forward, so are you talking about these yeah. ones here? Yeah. Um, so mine happens to be purple. Um, do you have, um, blue might be a little bit more, let me see what yours looks like. Oh, I see. Yeah, that looks great. So um, it was the, the, um, the, the texture of the trees is in the islands. So you want to get these blocked in first. Okay. I had to make purple. Yeah, that'll be your darkest color. Okay. Vicki, how do you how do you feel about the um, acrylics so far compared to your watercolor? Uh, I like watercolor better, but this has been fun. I I constantly want to water down <laughs> the paint. Yeah, it's a whole different feel, isn't it? Wow. Okay, and then with the trees, you used a different brush? Um, it was actually the same brush, but mine happens to come to a nice chisel point, so you wanna make sure it's not too much of a fluffy wash brush. Okay, I need a new one. Um, did you fill in first? Fill, yeah. Okay, because once these were both filled in that darkest color, Okay, yeah, you're ready. Um, after that, I'll take a dry one to show you. So um, after this is all filled in, um, I take a lot of, so it'll be shaped really thin, but there'll be a lot of paint on it. And then I just make sure I'm just tapping very lightly. I just go a little bit up, a little bit down. And you can see. Okay. Oh, yeah. See it? And then I've got, it's, it's on both sides, really. You can do this with a fan brush, uh, but it has to be the right fan brush. Otherwise, it just kind of spreads out. Okay. So I might have more control with just that thin wash brush. Are you dipping it back in the paint or are you just moving the paint that's there? Nope, dipping it back in the paint and it's pretty filled up, but it's, it's a chiseled edge. Okay.
Can you demonstrate that again? Sure. Trying to get. Hmm. I'll get the actual brush and I'll fill it up so you can see it. All right, so I've got the brush. See how thin mm -hmm. that is? Yeah. Yeah. And then what I'm doing is going a little up, a little down. Almost in a zigzag. And you don't have to put those in there. It was just a way to kind of level up the, take it to the next level. How is this looking? Oh, that looks phenomenal. Thank you. Very nice. Great job. Oh, I love those colors. Yeah, I like them too. And the hills really brought it, the hills, the forest trees really brought it together. Yeah, absolutely. Because I was a little concerned before with the different colors. Yeah. How it would turn out. But yep. now it's here. Yeah, so those um those hill colors in the distance. So you see how um 
Aaliyah? Yeah. See how the, the you've got the similar hill colors um, back here? Right. I also brought those here to kind of break up so that the yellow comes through. Mm -hmm. Just put stripes of, of, that, of those hill colors over here to break up some of that yellow. Okay, is that necessary or? Um, it's not necessary, but it's a little so, watered down. Yeah, I, I just watered it down, but yours is a little chunky and it'll kind of break that up a little okay, bit. Okay, with a thin brush, right? Yes. Okay, let me give that a try. Mm -hmm. Is it okay against the pink and stuff? Yes, yep. Okay. So you pull that hill color in? Yeah, but I watered it down just a little bit. So both sides we're talking? Uh, yep. I actually I hit about four lines. Is that too many? No, I did about here. This is what it looks like now. Well, do you see where the orange abruptly stops where the yellow is? Yeah, that's my only, that's my concern. Yeah, it, it's actually the yellow where those lines go. Oh, it is. I thought you said both sides. Nope, my, mine was bright here. So I was talking about where the brightness was. It, mine was like, it was abrupt. So I pulled that right okay. here. So are you t saying like take a Q-tip and make it a little shorter? Um, have it, have the, ba the barrier be right where the island stops? Not sure what you mean. Like, you see how they go past the pink? Mm -mm. And it stops when it gets to yellow? Do I want it to stop right here? No. Back it up towards the island. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do I get rid of this part and just have it stop here? So your orange comes out way over here? Yeah. And, and uh, see how these ripples stop right underneath the hill? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So should I take a Q-tip and get rid of the ripples there? Sure. All right, that was my question. Get all my Q-tips. How's yours coming, Vicki? Um, I did better on the other one that we worked on. <laughs> you what? I think we did, I did better on the other one we worked on. <laughs> this one gets a little trick here, and, and we yeah. did go for the more advanced version. No, I, I'm, I was excited to try it. I would, I'm going to try this one again after. Yeah, this one's a lot about like color mixing. Um, and values. But it's a really simple piece. The complexity comes when, you know, all the colors come together. This one's fun to do in watercolor. Yeah, I can see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I think that because I have the window behind me, it doesn't work as well. Oh, that turned out marvelous. Yeah. What, and now how do you do that? Um, but the underneath part. Um, I, just a little bit more translucent. So what, what your, your uh, brush down a little bit more. So you wet it more. Yeah. Well, your brush is wet and then you pick up the paint. So it's a little bit more translucent, but it's not wet paint. Like it's not watered down because you'll end up lifting underneath. Okay. Is having four lines okay? Yeah, that'd be fine. That's okay? Yep. I'll go ahead and add the other lines. I got rid of the others for the most part. Like I got rid of the extension. Mm hmm Super extension. Okay. That's about it. Do you make that um, really thin, light colored line underneath the hills in the back, right in the center? What about it? Do you have, is it just the yellow or do you have it like that really thin white line? Um, I had, I had originally put white and yellow there and it was too bright and just like chunky down the center. So over here where I watered down, you know, the hill color here, okay. on this side, I don't have as much water. You can see it's not as translucent. And then I added a little bit more water to my brush. And then I added a lot of water to my brush so you can barely see there's any glaze over that. Oh, okay. So that's where I used it like a watercolorist would to instead, you know, like in, to bring the, the light colors up through, I just use the water to thin down the paint. Okay. Are you able to see the lines? Yeah, that looks beautiful. Nicely done. Thank you. Should I add more lines where the um, orange and yellow are or leave it alone? It's totally your call. Bring it to how you, how you envision it. That's the most important part. Okay. Thank you. Beautifully done. Thank you. How did you get your yellow when you added the blue, the touch of blue? Yes. How did you get the yellow not to turn green? Um, well, I had it didn't I didn't go right into the blue, so I I the purple is the barrier to not get green. Okay. So can you see my colors on here? See, I've got the lavender. Yeah. That's that's essentially my blue. Okay. So that it turned more like a peachy gray, but more peach. Yeah. Or it turned, or it turned lavender. Okay. So you can back it up and go to the purple. And then add white. Okay. Awesome. Nicely done. Thank you. Great job. I like how it turned out. I was like concerned in the beginning, um, but now I'm happy over that. Fantastic. Nice. Thank you. I'm just going back in to fill in a tiny bit like the white spots on the canvas. Oh yeah. In my skyline, because that just bothers me a little bit. I don't want, you know, any white spots on the canvas. Can I see Vicky?
With the window in the back, I have to change it around so that you can actually see it, so. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, wow, that turned out nice. Yeah, very translucent right in the center. You oh, know what good, that's what I tried to fix. Yep, nicely done. I like it. I didn't realize you were working on watercolor paper. No, it's, um, it says it's acrylic paper. It's, it, it's in a pad and it says for acrylic. Um, where is that? I had it because I liked it for drawing, and then I just found it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like cheap acrylic Strathmore paper. Yeah, it's probably, it was probably quite um, very different experience than on canvas because um, that's going to be more porous, so it's going to suck it up quite a lot, like almost yeah. like to use it like, like a watercolor. It has a... Um, smooth side and a very textured side. Yep. Is it almost plasticky on the side you're painting? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> this is, this side is, the back side. Yeah. It's a little plasticky. Um, Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, because they have canvas paper. But that doesn't look like canvas paper. No, I have canvas paper too. It's not canvas. It's pretty like, um, you know, you couldn't bend it. Hmm. But I would like to, now that I know how to do this, Put it on, uh, see I only have one canvas and I did the other pretty one on it and I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to cover it. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to do acrylic. <laughs> <laughs> I hear ya. Um, well, maybe we can, we can actually meet up at the studio sometime and I can get you some canvases if you want to do more. Yeah, I would try that. I would try it. I'm, I'm enjoying the canvas. When this is done, I'm going to get some paints and some more. What about the boards? Boards? Yeah, they're not a canvas, but they're, um, it's like a board with a canvas material on it. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, it's like those. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I think that's I'll get a pack of those. That's perfect. Yeah, that's better than the, the paper or even the canvas paper. It's better than either one of those. Okay. So unless we have any more questions, I think we might be done. That's good. Thank you. My pleasure. It was fun. I love doing this piece. It's one of my favorites. Thank you. I really enjoyed this. It was coming out of my comfort zone. It's a good thing. Um, yeah. Feel free to keep tweaking it. Okay. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you soon. Great. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Sandy. Thanks for coming. Bye. Also, Sandy, is it possible um, from the drawing class the other day, can you shoot me an email when you have a chance of the slides? I had asked, but I, I'm sure you've been super busy. Um, well, what I do is I post the forms that you can use to continue. So I, I post those um, before the drawing class, before the next drawing class. Well, I saw the ones that you sent me the link for, but um, the problem was they were like individual JPEGs and it would have just been easier to print out the full, it was the intro like to making the fantasy and the characters and everything like that. So it would yeah. just be easy to have the PowerPoint so I could print to get the whole thing printed out and start drawing it. And gotcha. Yeah, it's a little bit different. That's just for presentation. The ones that I'm putting out there, they're actually the ones on the website. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay.
Okay, we'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Thank you. Thanks.